If you've just bought, installed and activated your eSIM on iPhone, now is the time to set it up. Note, if you don't know how to install and activate eSIM for iPhone, see this video on our channel. Now, follow these step-by-step -step instructions to set up. Step 1. Assign eSIM to cellular data and set default voice line. Click on cellular, go to SIM section, turn off your other line, turn on your eSIM. Very important to turn on your eSIM as the cellular data line. This will ensure that your eSIM is ready to handle your data needs. Step 2. Click on your eSIM again. Turn on data roaming. This is the final step in activating your eSIM. This step is very important if you want your eSIM to work while on roaming. Step 3. Troubleshooting slow speeds. If you're facing slow speeds or having trouble connecting to the network, here's what to do. Go to voice and data in your settings and ensure it's set to 5G auto. If your package or phone doesn't support 5G, switch it to 4G LTE instead. Next, in the data mode settings, you'll have options like standard, low data mode and allow more data. Choose standard. Here's an important one. If you have battery saving mode turned on, switch it off. Why? It helps maintain smooth communication with the network, especially when speeds are slow. Check Cellular Data Network APN settings. Most operators will set this automatically, so you won't need to worry. But if it's not set, we've got you covered. Just refer to these videos for help. And that's it. Follow these steps and your eSIM will be up and running perfectly. If you still have issues, reach out to our customer care at mobimatter.com troubleshoot.